Chef Lalonde, owner of the Canteen Bar and Grill in North Platte. Join us now for fabulous, unique, original recipes created by the chef. Hi, and welcome to uh, Cooking with Chef Lalonde. We're again outdoors, a little windy today, but we're gonna make this work. We're gonna do a Mediterranean style grilled uh, swordfish, and I've got some fresh grilled swordfish here. We are gonna literally put a little lime ju or lemon juice, some garlic, a little parsley, salt and pepper on these, and we're gonna grill them. And then right behind me here, I've got a really great salsa. We're gonna make kind of a salsa with tomatoes, capers. We're gonna put a little bit more garlic in there. We've got shallots, olive oil, a little balsamic vinegar, some lemon, and some rosemary. And that's gonna be the topping for our beautiful Mediterranean steaks. All right, we're gonna keep these real simple. We're gonna lemon juice, and you want to be pretty generous with the lemon juice. It's so a little bit of garlic. We're going to kind of rub that in. We want plenty of salt. You want to do this on both sides. And we want pepper. And we got to kind of do that at an angle because of the wind's blowing our pepper away. And we're going to very carefully take a little bit of our parsley while it blows in the wind. That's part of going outside. And then these are ready for the grill. Now we're gonna do our topping for our, uh, our swordfish steaks. We've got some fresh Roma tomatoes. We're gonna to add capers, which I think are just absolutely wonderful. We've got some fresh rosemary, kind of chop that up. We've got a little bit of garlic left here from marinating our steaks, just chopped nicely. We've got some chopped shallot, kind of minced, which will work real good. We're gonna do a little bit of lemon. Not too much, we want a little acid in there to give it some flavor. Give it some brightness in there. The seeds, you can just pop them throw away. And we're gonna try to do our parsley without having it fly everywhere, but unfortunately with the wind, you just gotta deal with what you got. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. About 10, 12, 15 grinds if you can. We had to do like probably 20 there because of the wind. <laughs> and just a little bit of olive oil. And we're also gonna hit our steaks, when they come out, our swordfish steaks, with a little bit of olive oil when they come out of the oven or off the grill. And uh, then we're gonna top it with this beautiful, fresh, kind of a Mediterranean salsa right there, beautiful. Our swordfish steaks are done. Now we're ready to plate these bad boys up. All right, these are beautifully done right off the, uh, right off the grill. We're gonna show probably two of those. Make it look real nice. I'm gonna hit these with some extra virgin olive oil. It's gonna give it a real nice flavor. A little bit more lemon, just to brighten that up again. I'm gonna hit just a touch of balsamic glaze, kind of right over the top. Not too much, because we don't need a whole lot on here, but it'll look really good. Taste yummy. We're gonna hit it with some of our beautiful salsa, kind of our Mediterranean blend of salsa with tomatoes and all the good stuff. A little bit of fresh rosemary, we've got some uh, some lemon on the plate, and that looks beautiful. Hey, thanks for joining us this week. Hopefully you don't have to put up with a lot of wind when you're grilling, maybe on Father's Day, someday it's been fun. Enjoy it, try this at home if you can get fresh swordfish steaks. And thanks for joining us, we'll see you next week. For Chef Lalonde recipes, go to knopnews2.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Please join us again next Wednesday.